Hello YouTube, and this is Fancy Polak here, and as you can see, I have my uh, heater core and AC evaporator and whatnot stuff out. And we already replaced the heater core with a new one that I bought on Amazon. And here is the old one. I wonder where it broke. But yeah, this is the old one leaked out really crappy and shitty, you know, so... We got that installed. I'm going to be greasing some stuff up here so it's easier to put in. And oh, it's, it's interesting. Let's actually pop this open. Grab the light. And the beauty of an open engine compartment. Yep, the whole dash is torn apart and everything is out. It's very very time consuming but it's really only pain in the ass when you actually have to get the damn thing out probably putting it in won't be too difficult because it'll you'll slide generally in but it's going to take a while to wire everything back up and just make sure I don't forget to put any screws in and if you guys didn't know um so I didn't, I've actually didn't I forgot to mention that UPS thing yeah you UPS lost the third package of my lift kit so I was unable to do that today, so I was forced to do the thing I didn't want to do is finally replace my heater core as you just saw, which I... It's interesting. Hey guys, Fancy Polk again. Um, I'm just uh, slowly finishing up the dash reinstallation. I already bolted it down to uh, on the bottom here. Now I'm working on uh, putting back together the center console. So I bolted it up there, put the this, this could these controls back in. Then I bolted up oh how many of those? Six? Six of those bolts on top. And then I got a bunch of other bolts that I gotta stick in different places like up there and uh, a couple in here. Once my I'm having my mother wash the center thing is just kind of sticky and grimy. And then um, I'm gonna be leaving this dash cover off for now because we, we may or may, I may or may not buy the new wires for the uh, cluster, ga cluster gauge because it, I don't know if I, it, it'll probably fix the problem, but um, I'll need to figure that out. But other than that, you know, yeah, the Jeep has heat now. If you guys saw it before, the whole dash taken out in the other part of this video. I, I think this has been probably at least a week by now. Since the last part of this video you might be watching, I'm not quite sure. And it's been sitting for a couple days because I haven't been able to work on it. Because one, it's been like zero degrees outside. And um, it was like below, it was like 16 degrees Fahrenheit at one point or something like crazy like that. So right now I'm just finishing up some small stuff and leaving that undone. I'll be bolting back the covers underneath there and... Uh, some other stuff, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get that no bus issue fixed and for not too much money. So, but yeah, right now I'm going to be finishing up these uh, two clus, these two center console bits, then the obviously the shifter, then I'll probably be installing this the the container here, and then starting to work on everything else. It's like this, this, this part isn't really even difficult. It's just a pain in the ass to do because it takes forever. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to leave it here and I'll see you guys in the next part of this video. Hey guys, um, so I finished up hooking up, uh, these two, if you can see, these two, uh, covers. Started screwing some stuff in. Uh, screwed in some bolts uh, underneath the glove box. Um, or inside, kind of underneath the glove box, that kind of held the airbag control mount airbag. And I put the glove box in. And yeah, that's basically all I did today because I need, I'm getting some other stuff cleaned and I kind of want to relax tonight. And tomorrow I'm going to be heading out to the Detroit Auto Show. I'll have footage on that too as well.